Okay, the topic of this presentation is going to be the mole, which we're going to abbreviate as MOL. And this is a topic that seems foreign to students, and it seems to be one of the topics that is more difficult to grasp. But actually, when we understand it, it's pretty straightforward. Um, but the other thing is it's one of those, it's a basic understanding you have to have in biotechnology. It's like being able to tie your shoes. If you don't learn to tie your shoes, you may be able to walk around with them untied, but sometimes you're going to stumble and fall. Right? So it's something that we're going to have to understand and embrace. So why, you know, I understand there's some reasons why um, students are um, kind of repelled or, or a little bit, but um, because it's, you know, it's unfamiliar. Right? So it, so it isn't unfamiliar. The other term is we use it, you know, it's metric. Right? And of course, the metric system it, we're going to be using in biotechnology, so you're going to have to get an understanding of it. But it's tied in with the, the understand of mole. And there can be also a little confusion with the, ter with the related term, molarity. Yeah, obviously, they're related, but mole and molarity are not the same thing. So in this discussion, we're going to discuss both of them and uh, come to an understanding of both. But we're going to start with the term the mole. Now, what is a mole? A mole is a measure, and you're familiar with measures. We've been talking a lot about different measures. But if you know, if I sent you to the store and I said, if I want some milk, right, you know you could get it as a quart or you could get it as a gallon. So those are the measurements of liquid. Now, they're not metric, but for the sake of our discussion, we're going to be using temporarily these common things. Um, you know, if I told you um, to get some sugar, right, you go, you get a five-pound bag of sugar. Right. Now, so what if I told you to get some eggs, right? Right? A dozen. Right? Now, the quart is a quantity. Right? The pound is a quantity. And those are units. A dozen is what? A dozen is a number. It's a number 12. Right? And, you know, and it wouldn't matter if the eggs were little quail eggs or big extra large eggs. Um, and it wouldn't matter if they were free range eggs or whatnot. If they were a dozen, it would be 12, regardless of the size or shape or whatnot. It'd be a, a dozen. And this is like mole. A mole is a number. It's a number. Right? So, you know, it happens to be a very large number. I think I must say big number. I have to. I have to. Uh, uh, so it's a large number. The concept of the mole was developed by chemists in order to work with atoms and molecules because they're very small and it takes a lot of them to have any mass. If you had your dozen eggs, that's something you can see and hold in your hand, and that's a reasonable number. But a dozen atoms are you know, infinitesimally small. So in order to get enough of them to be able to basically weigh them out, you have to have a lot of them. So that is the notion and the purpose of the mole is to bring the notion of atoms and molecules into a usable range um, to, to work on. So you need billions and billions of atoms or molecules to have enough to weigh. 
but it's just a number. Um, and uh, now what is it? So let's, let's write this number, not in scientific notation, but decimal form, just to see how large that number looks to us. So if you have a mole of anything, you have this number, 6.023 times 10 to the 23rd of that item. This is you had a dozen of anything, you've got 12 of it. If you have a mole of anything, you have 6.023 times 10 to the 23rd of them. Uh, Yeah, but it stopped now, isn't it? Oh. Okay, so we call this number the 6.023 times 10 to the 23rd as Avogadro's number. So Avogadro's number is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, which... Um, gives us a number of atoms or um, molecules to determine their mass. And we get this information on the periodic table. If we look at the simplest element, hydrogen, that has its atomic number is 1 and its atomic mass is equal to 1.01 right, gram per mole. Right, so that information is on the periodic table. And so for each element, it gives its individual atomic number and the mass of that atom, and it's the mass of 6.023 times 10 to the 23rd atom. Now, another thing that can cause students to stumble is in when we talk about molecules, right? There again, when we had sodium hydroxide, right, that was a molecule made up of sodium, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms, right? But we talked about the molar mass of it Right, 40 grams per mole. That was the mass of the individual sodium plus oxygen plus hydrogen. Right, so the atomic mass is the mass of an atom, and the molecular mass is the mass of a molecule. But there again, it is a mole, so it's 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd hydrogen atoms, or 6.023 times 10 to the 23rd, in this case, sodium hydroxide molecule. Okay. So, let's go to Avogadro's sandwich shop okay. and look at this concept. Avogadro makes, here he has two kinds of sandwiches, right? The first kind of sandwich is going to be the water sandwich. All right? Now, let's look at his recipe for water, or for, for the water sandwich. He has two pieces of bread. And one slice of ham. All right? So here in our example, the hydrogen atoms are the bread, two breads, right? and, and the oxygen is the slice of ham. So each sandwich, each water sandwich, has two slices of bread, but one slice of ham. So if he has 100 
water sandwiches, he's going to have to have 100 slices of ham, but 200 slices of bread. Right? So there are twice as many slices of bread as there are ham. So they're at a 2 to 1 ratio, and that's in the recipe. Right? So a mole of water has two moles of hydrogen and a mole of oxygen. Let's look at Avogadro's other sandwich. He has a sulfuric acid sandwich. Right? It has more components. Right? It still has two hydrogen, so it still has two slices of bread. Right? Oh, it has ham, or oxygen is ham. Oh, but it's got four slices of ham. It's going to cost more money because he's going to have to buy more ham. Oh, it has an S. So this one S, we're going to make it be Swiss cheese. All right? So for each sulfuric acid sandwich he makes, he's going to have to have two slices of bread, a slice of Swiss, and four slices of ham. Right? So, he, so each molecule, right, he would have to have two moles of hydrogen, right, four moles of ham, and one mole of Swiss. So let's go to the periodic table and look at our sandwiches and see what the how we do the molecular mass of these molecules. Well, here we've got H2O. And so what we said for each molecule, there are two H's and one oxygen. So if we go to the periodic table, we find that the mass of hydrogen, we said, was 1.01. .01. Grams per mole, and the mass of oxygen is 16.0 grams per mole. So, looking at Avogadro's sandwich, for each sandwich there's two hydrogens and one oxygen. So we have to have two times 1.01, .01 and then one times 16. So this is 2.02. .02 and this is 16, so you get 18.02 grams per mole for the molecule of water. Okay. okay, going on, looking at the sulfuric acid sandwich, right, here we've got two hydrogens, one sulfur, and four oxygen. So once again, hydrogen, its atomic mass is 1.01 .01 grams per mole. Sulfur is 32.07 grams per mole. And once again, oxygen is still 16 grams per mole. So we do 2 times 1.01 .01 .01 is 2.02. .02. 1 times 32.07 is 32.07. .07. And 4 times 16 is 64. Right. So so the molecular mass of sulfuric acid is 98.09 .09 grams per mole. So let's do one more for sugar. Or We'll call it sucrose, if you've had your coffee today. Okay. And 
Here's the molecular form formula for that. Okay, it's a bigger molecule, more participants in it, but we're still talking about if we have one mole, we have carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So for each one, we have 12, 22, and 11. So for carbon, we're going to use a mass of 12, and for hydrogen, we're just going to round it down for the time to make it a little bit easier for one, and oxygen again is 16. So 12 times 12 is 144, 22 times 1. Is 22 and 11 times 16 is 176. So the mass of a molecule of sucrose is 342 grams per mole. It's no more complicated than that. So, if we had 6.023 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of sugar, then we, it would be 342 grams. Right. So, that's something we could weigh out if we wanted to make um, 